Good morning. I wanted to show you guys today the progress that I have made on packing up the house and getting ready for our move pretty soon. Hi, Miss Chloe. Hi, Miss Chloe. What are you doing? Are you playing? <laughs> yeah, you're enjoying a quiet house because Karis is sleeping right now. I wanted to show you guys, I have moved a lot of boxes up into the closet, cleared out the kids' closet at the top, so I have that all packed away and full because most of our boxes are down in the basement, but I wanted to get a lot of stuff packed up and put away up in the closet because everything from the basement is going to have to be coming up before we move because this whole entire living room, like the last week, is going to be full, hi baby, of boxes um, as we get ready for people to come and help us load our U-Haul. I'm excited. I don't have a lot of energy today, but I got our wardrobe boxes out right there. I'll show you what we've done in here so far. All this stuff out in front and this whole tower is ready to go. Oh my goodness, it goes up really high. <laughs> that was higher than I even expected. And then I have all these boxes already, and they're labeled with what room they're going to, color coded um, with master bedroom, school room stuff. Um, I don't have any other rooms on that pile. I've got some stuff cleared out of those cabinets, most of the stuff cleared out of that one, and then these are also ready to go, um, packed and ready to go. This shelf makes me nervous, though. It looks like it's gonna fall because it was not on there very well. So these boxes are not very heavy that are up there. Plus, I probably wouldn't have been able to lift up really heavy boxes up there. So this is where I'm kind of started, is in the laundry room, because this is already storage that we've pretty much had down here. And just trying to, trying to do what I can. But I'm almost out of boxes. All I have are these little boxes that I can do kitchen stuff. So I need to, oh, I think I left some boxes upstairs. I've got my kitchen boxes upstairs already, so I'm going to take this with all my papers and stuff so I can hopefully keep our dishes from breaking in the move. Hey, little guy. Hello. You got a dinosaur? What are you doing? Are you done playing outside? Bye. Yeah. Dinosaur's gonna get you. Gonna get you. <laughs> Toby. Toby. Rawr. Hi, Hallie. How are you? Mama, yes. Um, I mean, I said I'm a baby, and I said I'm free, and and him said and him and him said are you a baby, Hallie? And I said no. I'm, I'm a baby. Yeah. Well, you know. Oh my goodness, child. And, and I didn't like that. Okay, did you tell him you didn't like that? Go tell him you didn't like that and tell him to not say that again, okay? You want some help with it? Okay. I need to get to work and Miss Chloe's gonna have some food. You wanna sit and eat a sweet pepper? Does that sound yummy? Yeah. Nicole is here, so I need to go and get some boxes, hopefully, while I can. But first, I'm going to call and see if there's a place that I can actually get some good ones. Hi, our family's moving, and I was wondering if y'all had any boxes that were good for moving that we could pick up. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. No. All right. Let's go drive around and find some dumpsters. So, so far, I'm not having any luck because I'm finding that places have these new, like, things. What is that? It's like a, they've got, like, the chute that comes from inside their building and then into the cardboard compressor. So, that's a bummer that they have that. So, what stores don't have those? I'm going to go drive behind a few more and see if I can find something. I found some. Guys, look. 
They're just kind of useless like that. <laughs> We're getting closer, I feel like. Maybe? I don't know. I may have actually found one, like one box. We'll see if it's any good. Okay, hey, I'll take it, even if it's the only one, because we need some boxes. I'm kind of desperate. It's a good size box. This is about the size I've been looking for. I don't know how many I'm gonna be able to take with me, but so thankful that somebody did not break down this box. Oh, I'm gonna just move car seats. One, one box. I'm gonna see if they have any others. It's kind of gross. I'm ho I was hoping to like find an actual like cardboard dumpster because when we moved from Minnesota, I found a cardboard dumpster. Um, so this is an actual garbage dumpster. I don't want your garbage. I just want your cardboard. Clean cardboard, please. I'm starting to collect a few, but I feel really funny going and dumpster diving and like, uh, I don't want anyone to come out or I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'm taking their garbage. These are the dumpsters that I've been looking for. Shop, dump, shop, dump. took me about an hour and I filled up the whole entire car and now I'm gonna go home and feed Karis because she just woke up. It's a perfect timing. As long as I can see, I can't see out the back, but I can see my other side mirrors. Look at all the boxes Dana got. She got this big pile of them and it's gonna take us a little while to fill all those up. I'm still kind of trying to figure out what I feel, how I feel about moving. I go back and forth between like super excited to super like nervous, so like I can't believe I'm spending this much money. Uh, this is all my camera stuff, camera gear. I gotta pack all that Stana's, but this white shelf is mine. I gotta pack up my messy office. It's just like I go back and forth from feeling like, like, wow, I have never spent this much money before in my entire life. This is a big deal. Like, I can't believe I'm making this kind of commitment to, like, is this the right place? Is this really where our family should settle down and where we should be? To, like, oh, this is great. This is perfect, you know? And so many emotions. Um, so, so many different levels. So I'm excited, though, right now. <laughs> and I was just talking about it with Dana about it the other day. I'm just kind of like, you know what? This is going to be good. Like, I, I like the location. I like some of the, uh, the, the layout of the house is great. It's perfect for what we need and everything. And we're looking forward to sharing that with you guys and showing you around the house. Um, hopefully next week. Uh, closing date is next week. So if everything goes according to plan, we can show you tomorrow or next week, which would be awesome. But for the next week, our job is just to take all these boxes and fill them up. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. We will keep you up to date as we keep going forward with packing up our house and getting ready to move. And we're really looking forward to reading all your comments down there. Guys, we read every single one. So we don't get to reply to everyone because usually we're reading them while we're like, Dana's nursing or I'm feeding a baby or you know doing something like that but we do read them all so thanks for hanging out guys subscribe if this is your first time here because we're all about becoming a family team trying to figure that out for ourselves and hopefully ways that are helpful for you guys as young parents also so thanks for subscribing and we'll see you guys on Friday for another vlog see you then bye Zeke has been learning how to do the things he needs to do like floating on his back how long do you need to float on your back for, for when I was doing it I did it for um nine, nine seconds, seconds.